Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to make a radio control robot spider using these parts. We need 20 servos, some screws, and a claw like this. We will use a Sony PlayStation 2 joystick as a remote. We will also need structure elements, a servo control board, and a receiver for the joystick. All the links for all the equipment used are in the video description section. Adjust the control board with the legs like this. Fasten the longer legs here. The robot spider body is ready. Connect the servo to the board as follows. The rear part, the front part. The numbers are for the board outputs for connecting the servos. There is a link for the servo control software in the video description section. To test it, move the servo 1 scroll bar in both directions. The servo number 1 should rotate according to the scroll bar movements. Click on 1500. All the servos should take their mid position. Take two metal parts and connect them like this. That's how it should look. We need six pieces like this. Insert the servo here and fasten it with four screws. Attach another servo to this part. Attach this servo arm to the servo. Insert it into the robot body. Fasten the arm to the servo with a screw. Fasten the arm to the robot body with smaller screws. The arm is tapped, so there's no need to use nuts. It should look like this. Its left and right sides should be symmetrical. Place the arms this way and fasten the robot legs to them. Fasten the robot feet to the servos. Place the arm here and mount the legs this way. This is how it should look. Attach the claw. The thing is already big, but the claws make it more interesting. Attach the U-shaped part here and fasten this metal part to the servo. Attach the corner to this part before. Fasten the servo to the claw. Attach this claw part to the servo this way. This is how the robot should look. Connect everything now. Open the instruction manual and read the gamepad button's names. The instructions include the description of the action groups with corresponding gamepad buttons and actions. If you push an L3 joystick up, the AG8 action group will run. Try the robot after connecting it to the computer. Take servo 16. Oops, it's actually servo 5. Here is servo 16. Move the scroll bar. The claw should move accordingly. Once the servos are set to the desired position, click Add. A message should appear. Copy the message. Click Action Group, select a group, and paste it here. Click Application, and then Save. I created several action groups for this. Some of them are empty, and some are not. Now, click Download All. All the action groups are moved to the microcontroller now. Wait about a minute. This is the connection scheme for the Sony PlayStation 2 receiver and the microcontroller board. PS2 receiver. This is pin 1. Connect the microcontroller board to the Sony PlayStation 2 receiver with the wires included in the receiver set. Connecting the power. It's 5V here. Shift the jumper from the VCC to the 5V to power the microcontroller. The ground is the same for all. Pull this jumper out before connecting the power. Connect the power and start on the joystick. 
Press the Start button. Press the Mode button. An LED light is on, indicating that the connection is working. Let's see what it can do. This robot can be programmed any way you like. Let's see what it can do. It can raise its legs. It can move a claw. Three times speed. The robot is moving slowly due to the lack of power. This robot is moving backwards very slowly. I will try to reprogram it. I added some speed. Let's look at it. Now it's moving five times faster. Three times speed. The robot is moving slowly due to the lack of power. This is how you can assemble and program a radio control robot spider. The Sony PlayStation 2 joystick is used as a remote and it's very convenient. The robot is slow. I need some time for reprogramming it, and the power must be increased from 4.2V to 5.5V. I need another board for this. I don't have it yet, so as soon as I get the board, I'll show you all the features of the robot. If you enjoyed watching the video, click like and subscribe to my channel. There will be more tutorials for you in the future. See you!